Hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of the Minecraft farming tutorial and <coughs> today I'll be showing you how to make a reset button for your powerhouse. It's quite simple but it involves a lot of redstone and it may be tricky uh, to make it. The, the good thing is we didn't make our powerhouse that far from our uh, house so it shouldn't be too much of a issue. As you can see here, it's stuck again. But if we put up a... Well, this is quite tricky. I think it was something like this. Let's try. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I put power on this wiring which would go like this it will only power this bit but when it loops it will only it will also go this way as you can see I forgot to remove the torch but doesn't matter Let's move this bit wait for it to end <laughs> taking a long while but yeah just put a simple repeater here put it on minimum lowest setting and this wire you can now just dig a little tunnel for it we'll make this a lot easier there we go now we are quite far away but I'll show you the prints the the ID behind this switch. If you put a lever down below, well, actually, just on where is it here? If you put a lever here and you just simply flick the lever like that, just really quickly, you will get one repeater block that is moving all the time. And as you can see here, it just continues to go and go. Well, <coughs> I will log out for. <coughs> to see well to show you what happens when you relog it crashes you know it stops and I'll show you what happens if you pull the um, lever again as you can see the, le the circuit has stopped there now all what we do is quickly just tap the lever and as you can see it will continue to go on but we have a little problem here as you'll get quicker and quicker um, circuit times because we now have two pieces of redstone current going uh, on the circuit every time so you can only use the button like four or five times then you have to actually go and reset it I have not found I have not yet found a uh, solution to this but from here on it's quite simple you just <coughs> get the repeater well actually just make some redstone all the way make a repeater jump over it make another repeater you don't need to put the pieces that close though keep in mind so like this like this Repeater down, make some more of them. Blah blah blah. All the way to your house. Make sure to keep making repeaters. As you can see, my sing uh, signal died. I'm not sure if this will make it. No, just put one here. I'm playing in creative mode, so I'm not really, I'm not really being uh, too shabby on the redstone repeaters. But <coughs> in survival mode, you really want to your uh, redstone and zero cost as low as possible so really measure out when you need to put a redstone uh, repeater the range of a redstone repeater is 15 blocks and inside you just put a lever here and you will see if I switch the lever it doesn't work obviously I need to put it one higher there we go not hit the door as you can see now if I hit the lever it will power the 
the circuit, but as I was really stupid, I put all the redstone repeaters in the wrong order, well, in the wrong uh, direction. Make sure they work from the current from here. So, from your house, make a wire to the to the powerhouse, not the other side. Don't come go from the powerhouse to your normal house. So, make sure they face the powerhouse because now if you push the button the lever in your house for just a few seconds you will power this bit and you'll set it and because of the repeater here you won't power this bit which will cause it to freeze so this is a well simple restart button for your powerhouse now it just close it up a little bit make it now look nice and make sure to close it you can put a door put it like this or put a door somewhere but make sure to close it because if a creeper comes crawling on your powerhouse when you're working there and blows up the powerhouse you're not going to be happy with that so you can just tidy this up make it closed put some torches down there to prevent uh, zombies from spawning what i usually do is just between my circle tree put torches like this and on the wall yeah with if you do that you don't really really need it on the wall so just that's basically it from here on you can just close your powerhouse and um, this also uh, applies to your farms put a fence around it or a, pr a wall of cobblestone or something make sure zombies and Creepers can't get to your farms because they will, they'll really blow stuff up and wreck wreck your hard work. So make sure to um, make sure to just make sure. Yeah, well, close your close your stuff like well. This obviously doesn't need, really need any protection anymore, but put some torches here and there. And for example, on here, you can um, make a fence around it, and you can even just. Put another cobblestone on there. Get a fire. Get a torches on there. On the this grass in between, you can put torches and just make sure every area is well lit and it has things around it because, as I said before, creepers can really mess your stuff up. With the chicken coop, you don't really need uh, torches inside the coop, but Make sure you have some on the side or around it, so creepers, if they spawn and if they uh, come through your water flow, they if they blow this up, you're in a lot of trouble because it really takes a lot of work and headache to repair your stuff. Now, this is optional, but it's really uh, nice to do it. Just get some glass box, if I can find them. Where are the glass blocks? And I see them. That's uh, actually a good question. Where's the stupid glass block? Ah, there it is. Put some glass or dirt. I like glass, it looks nice. And you can also inspect your water flow better if it has any errors or something. And just put some glass like this on top of it. This is because you don't need to do this everywhere, but you need to do this around your ending point because it will greatly stop uh, monsters from falling in. And if they fall in your trap, they can lag your game, and it's not really nice to have. So just put some glass around it, prevents monsters from falling in, but you can still check your water flow uh, if everything's alright. Put it like that. You've got your restart button now here on your house. You don't see anything from the inside. Here you can just walk down, kill the sheep. And as you can see there are a lot of items here just waiting. You can expand this room a lot. Put some chests down here. You can make even you can even make it uh, this dream go further into a separate chest room or you can make it as as crazy as you want it to be so this is it's really fun to make a whole system uh, that is 
includes items and with the water you can just transport it everywhere you want. So you can just take this out, put some chest there and put some torches up for against zombies and all that stuff. And yeah, this has been the last video of my Minecraft farming tutorial video. And uh, I told... I believe I said that the last video as well, but this is really the last one. Or uh, I might actually think something up and I don't... You may or may not see another video. I hope this has learned you a lot. I've had fun making it, showing you how I made a cool nice farm in my in my multiplayer server which I play on with friends. I'll make a video of that probably. The last video then of this tutorial. And I hope you lear guys learned something from this. Uh, if you have any questions or, or comments just uh, leave some comments on my channel or on the on the on the video itself don't forget to subscribe if you like this what i make and uh, yeah i hope you like my videos and uh, i'll see you guys next time